What's up vlog? Today is day one of the 100 homes in 100 days challenge that I got going on or 100 homes in 100 days. It's not really a challenge. It's uh, you know the goal that I got going on. So this morning, it's about 5.40 right now. I am headed to a repair job or a changing out some different lights for a previous customer that we installed some landscape lighting on this morning and getting out there as early as I can so I can hopefully get finished with the job today um, you know on this landscape lighting things I usually get done a lot later or at different pacing than I think it would take originally so right now I'm telling you it might I'm hoping it'll take just today but you know there's a good chance that I'll be working on it tomorrow too um, so some things that I want to get done today so I want to get this job done and then I actually had a text yesterday from a customer last year in Round Rock that we installed his lights we installed his uh, wreath and garland he had icicle lights on his house last year and I talked to him he's like he's uh he's an EMT so he's a first responder and I talked to him about this year because he, he pretty much hurt his back last year and couldn't install his stuff he's Mr. Griswold he loves going out on Christmas and because we're because we're friends we have a mutual connection through my wife I was totally okay with helping him out and help by putting up the lights that he already had now we talked about it and this year we're gonna go ahead and get all of my commercial grade products on his house and we have some cool product where if you do like icicle lights we can have icicle lights that can be custom fit to the home like all the rest of our product that we offer which is really cool um, because icicles typically are not something that people can customize I think HBL is the company that I'm going to be using for these um, for these lights the customizable icicle lights and so my goal today is to source all of the the garland I think he has one wreath and then gonna measure on Google Earth the outside of his home now so that's two and then the third thing that I plan to get done today is the vlog I plan to upload edit and um, maybe voiceover if I don't have the voiceover for it but you know, 100 homes in 100 days, and so I actually get an opportunity to start, you know, day one with an opportunity to sign up for some Christmas lights or get some Christmas light quotes out there. Now, this 100 homes in 100 days is going to be 100 new homes, or I could potentially be signing up a hundred a customer from last year, but I've already signed up a few homes this season and so we're not going to talk about those 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 don't count in 100 homes in 100 days because we're just starting today on September 1st so with that being said um, I've had my brights on all morning um, and I'm following some cars so I'm sure there's some people that are upset about that but sorry about that guys um, so yeah we're uh, 100 homes in 100 days we um, why is why am I doing Christmas lights? You know, I'm sitting here trying to think of things to think about and talk about for the vlog today. And why do I do Christmas lights? And you know, the story goes like whenever a few years ago when I first started teaching, I had always been like trying to mow, um, trying to make some money doing some extra things. I even you know even now I'm driving in my car uh, because that's what I got. I mean, if I had a truck, I'd drive a truck, but I got a car. And so I would be mowing out of my car. I'd put the mower in the back, throw it in there and drive. And I mean, I had a few yards, I mean, five to 10 yards that I would be mowing 
you know, at any given time, um, out of the car and it was November and we were trying to find, or I was trying to think of a way, a new way to make some cash in the fall and winter months. We were driving in Dallas and I saw the Galleria Mall lit up, just so great. They had red lights on their trees. And I turned to my wife and I was like, Christmas lights, that's it, Christmas lights. I can hang Christmas lights. So what did I do? I went home that after that weekend and I started searching up Christmas light installation groups on Facebook because Facebook, you know, a lot of the power in Facebook is its groups. And if you're not utilizing the Facebook groups, then you're missing a big part of Facebook. Facebook groups has changed my life in the last, you know, three, four years, just for the vast amounts of like community and connecting through those groups to learn a new skill or a new trade, things like that, um, have encouragement, um, you know, and connecting with people that are more like yourself that are interested in the things that you're interested in that have you know some of the same business aspirations that you have and even but bigger ones i mean i'm connecting with guys on facebook groups who do you know they sell over a million dollars a christmas in christmas lights or you know six figures in christmas lights one well, yeah six figures maybe some of them do a million um now one of those guys they or one of those groups of guys they do uh, e-commerce business on the side they do product and then they also do installate he does installation he's partnered with a product firm or a product company that's Christmas like contractors um, USA and so Donovan and Fred they've partnered together on that but Donovan also out in North Carolina he does installs and his company kills it during Christmas. They got perfect offerings. Uh, they, they offer the packages just like us. So anyways, why I do Christmas lights is driving through Dallas and I was like, man, I'm gonna do Christmas lights. So started hanging lights that first year, you know, obviously first year, like I'm new to the business, I'm new to everything. So I was charging, I mean, it wasn't cheap. I think I was about $4 a foot though. Um, just because I, you know, didn't think that, you know, there were people out there that would pay for a premium product and a premium service. Um, and so I think I started about $4 a foot. And I think we did you know, 11 homes that first year. We did 11 homes that first year. And so got that knocked out. Um, lots of trial and error. I started, I went to uh, Odessa and spent a day out there doing an install with a guy from that I met from the Facebook group. He had, you know, the first year, my very first install, the only install I did four years ago, they were incandescent bulbs. You can't custom cut them. I was taping, I was cutting, I was doing all kinds of things that um, not supposed to do. And everybody in the Facebook group blasted me except Brad. Brad reached out and it was cool because it turns out he's from West Texas. It's just like, I'm from West Texas. And he was like, man, I'll teach you. I'll, I'll take you under my wing. And, um, you know, I haven't talked to Brad in a while, but I really do appreciate all the help that Brad and, and gave me at the start. Because I don't know without him, I don't know if this thing would even be going on right now. So that was first year, second year, last year, we ended up doing 26 houses. Um, so we more than doubled the business from the year one. And so yeah, but I'm pulling up to my customer's house and that is the intro to today's job and what I got going on. So we'll catch you guys whenever we can. Hey, what's up guys? I, you know, it's day one of the 100 homes and 100 days challenge. And just wanted to talk to you guys about something that's, you know, maybe y'all aren't quite as educated on. 
and that's you know the difference between um, my company and what we do and what the good Christmas light companies do in the area like Warriors for Light, GGA Pest, and us as well is that we are providing a full white glove service to you guys as the customer. Now what that means is is that not only are we providing you the lights, the install, we're custom fitting the home, the lights of the home. I understand that there are many other lawn care companies in the area that do things like that. Um, but we're providing a full-fledged service that for you as the homeowner, you have no worries, right? And what do I mean by no worries? Because anybody can just say that. Anybody can just say, oh, it would choose us and you won't worry about it. Well, for example, last year I was in Salado. I was installing lights on a tree. Um, that tree was about $1,200 to $1,500 just to get the tree done. Now, that tree was lit up like the 4th of July, except it wasn't red, white, blue. It was white. Well... I had a customer, so I was hanging lights up in that tree, or we were up in the tree hanging the lights, and a neighbor came by on their golf cart. Well, they had a nice home. Um, the neighbor showed me the picture uh, that the company did for their for their house, and I was like, "Wow, you know that that looks really great, actually." Um, they lived in a barn style home out in Salado, and I mean, it, it looked good. But then I started talking to her about it, you know. Obviously, I, I didn't really disclose my price. Um, but I was just curious about what she had going on. And she said that this year she had only paid $600 to get the lights done on her house. And I looked at that. And that job for me and my business would be, you know, for a reinstall, 30% off. Of, so the first year is full price. And then the years after, it's 30% off that original price. So, you know, that house originally could have been, you know, 1250 for me for my minimum. So that had been about $900 to reinstall. So $300 more. Okay. So what am I getting or what am I providing to you as the homeowner for $300 more? Where some of you guys, I know that you're not going to choose, that you're not going to spend more than $200 to hang your lights. And that's okay. Like if you are somebody who... Ah, I'm just pretty pretty happy about Christmas and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Then if you're going to spend 200 to $300 on somebody hanging lights, then I mean, that makes sense to me because you know what? You're, it's just, it's a, it's an afterthought for you. But if you're somebody who's really excited about Christmas and you're looking like, man, Christmas time is the best. I got family. I got friends. We got the holidays, you know, happiness and joy and all of those things. You got Christmas is a big point of that happiness in your life, then we're gonna be the company for you. And that's because we don't just hang lights on the house. Now, we do hang lights on the house, but we do it in packages. We add wreaths, we add garland. We don't just do daytime decor or nighttime decor where, oh, we got a few lights on the house. I mean, I'm not saying that that's bad. Like, you get to choose what's right for you and what's not. and. What I'm here is to tell you, like, again, if you're somebody who's, like, super ecstatic about Christmas, I am super ecstatic about Christmas. GGA is super ecstatic about Christmas. Warriors for Light, those guys, we are super ecstatic about Christmas. And what does that mean? Well, for that passion and energy that we bring to the Christmas light industry, it's going to cost more because we are more, like, professional in the services that we offer. So first off in that $300, the first thing that you're going to get is the passion of somebody who does lighting full time. Not just somebody who's trying to, hey, I get it. Everybody's trying to keep their guys busy at this time. You know, you got a whole bunch of lawn care guys and I keep going back to lawn care, but there's, you know, pest control, lawn care guys, firemen, um, power, pressure washing companies, outdoor cleaning services, window cleaning services. These people are trying to keep their guys busy during this during the cool down season and I understand that as a business owner like hey get your guys taken care of um but like 
just like anything else, if if you as the customer are choosing the cheaper service, okay, what happens, for example, back to the story in Salado, because I'm someone that goes all over the place, and I'm sorry about that, but back to the story of the lady in Salado. So her house was beautiful. I mean, whoever installed it did a wonderful job, and I truly don't know who it was. Um, she said it was a company out of Leander. Okay, so again, about three hundred different, three hundred dollars, maybe three hundred fifty, four hundred dollars, somewhere around their difference in service price. Okay, so there was a light that she asked me, you know, if if I could come, maybe come fix it or something like that. And maybe that's my fault for not going and getting it taken care of. Um, but. What I told her is, I what I asked, I was like, well, why, why won't your, why won't the company that installed your lights come out and do it? And she said, oh, well, they don't, they don't come, they don't return. It's only one time a season, and they only come back when they take the lights down. And that right there, if you're, if you're somebody who's super excited about Christmas and want your lights to be ready to go for Christmas Day or ready to go for Thanksgiving Day. If you're choosing these guys that are just trying to keep their employees employed, then you may be calling them three or four, five, six times before they pick up. And second off, you may call them that many times before, and they might tell you that many times before they show up that, oh yeah, I'll get there, I'll get there, I'll get there. But again, these guys are so busy, so schedule filled with doing a cheap install because a lot of people are happy about the cheaper price. I buy, I mean, I go to Walmart all the time, right? But I also choose to go to Chick-fil-A instead of McDonald's because I like the service at Chick-fil-A. Like, I like how they treat me at Chick-fil-A. Not just the food. The food's great. Lemonade. Love it. But I go to Chick-fil-A because of how it makes me feel. I don't go to McDonald's because it's cheaper, right? And so what we do in that situation We've already built into our bill going out and servicing your home a certain amount of times. But then after that, if we have to continue servicing it, that's on us. Those lights are are our lights. And so guess what? If you got one bulb out, it's not you have one bulb out. I have one bulb out. And what that means for me is like, I better get my guys out there and provide you the service that you paid for. But again, like I... This is no shame or guilt trip to anybody. It's an education segment. Because, again, if you're paying for Deep in the Heart Outdoor Services, my business, Christmas Light Central Texas, my business, or you're paying for Warriors for Light, or you're paying for GGA Lighting in Waco, okay, the service that you're getting will not be matched by anybody else in this region. If you are somebody that's looking for that service, then it's going to cost you. And you understand that. Maybe you're just not aware that there's these type of businesses out there that, man, it's a full white glove service. I don't have to do anything. Nolan, a squirrel chewed line. All right, we'll be out within 48 hours. A lot of times 12. I say 48 hours because around Christmas Day and Thanksgiving Day, it stretches a little bit. Okay? Just, I mean, as everybody would understand, like those two days, you got to protect them. Not doing business to work myself to death or my guys to death, right? So within 48 hours, most of the time it's 12 hours. We'll be out, we'll fix the bulbs. Even if it's just one bulb, we'll get it fixed. We'll change the color and we'll get it done. Then at the end of the season, whenever we schedule our takedown, we're not gonna be leaving clips on the roof. My gosh, I've driven by so many homes still. It's uh, it's September 1st now. I've driven by so many homes. And the houses have clips on them. Maybe that's because the father installed them and he was just like, I, I ain't getting on the roof to take these lights down. I, you know, and it's just, it's funny to me because those things happen. But with our business, it doesn't. There's no trace. We, we leave no trace behind whenever we're complete with our project. Now remember, like, my minimum is not 1250 just to hang lights. My minimum of 1250 is going to probably cover the front roof line of your home, 
plus two garlands or one wreath, or you're gonna add lighting along the base of your flower bed. And again, it's not just about the lights. It's not just about the garland. It's about the quality of service that you are getting with us. You are, you are getting somebody who loves Christmas, who wants to bring joy to your family for Christmas, who wants to add joy to whoever works for me's Christmas. Because, hey, we got guys that need work. I got guys that need work. Now, I'm not going to sacrifice my price to hire you as a customer to get my guys work because we know our, our worth. Because we know that if you're calling us, we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna get right out there. We know that we're doing preventative maintenance on the lights to where we're adding dielectric grease, we're adding you know, silicone or and other things that are gonna keep the lines preserved to where maintenance is gonna be few and far between. And also, what we throw in is, if you wanna change the lights the color next year, it's not going to cost you anything extra. Okay. Now, I get it. It's going to be more. There's going to be more and more people out there that are cheaper than me, cheaper than us. But I just want you to know to educate you as the potential customer that it's not just Christmas lights. All right. If you are somebody who, again, is not, you know, you're like, oh yeah, Christmas. Christmas is cool. That's a, that's awesome. Like, you get to. You get to have that and enjoy the lights that are put on your house. Like I said, that lady's house in Salado, she showed me the picture, they look great. The people that did a good job. But what they didn't do is they didn't provide her with the extra service that I'm gonna go out there and fix that bulb that's out on your house. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna design a package that is going to fully bring out the Christmas spirit with, again, wreaths and garlands and premium bows that really set your home up to be a winter wonderland for Christmas. So yeah, I'm just on a rant on this. Um, you know, it's not a anything else other than that. And trying to educate... Hold on. Take exit 287. Alright, I still got two exits. Um... Yeah, just on, just on a little rant on this because I'm so passionate about Christmas and passionate about the customer experience. And a lot of us go through, you know, whatever interactions we go through, not knowing that there's something different out there. I'm not saying we're better. I know that the service that we provide is better because we just provide more. Um, you know, and that's, I just, I just know that. If, if it was my home, I would want, you know, if I had a light out, I would want to pick up the phone. And my, I know my wife would definitely want to pick up the phone and say, hey, we got a light out. Are you guys going to get out here? And on the other side of that line, those guys better say, yes, ma'am, we'll be there within 48 hours. Or yes, ma'am, we'll be there within 12 hours. Like, that's what we, whenever you're paying somebody else to do it, that's what you're paying somebody else to do it for. Okay? So... Day one of 100 homes in 100 days. I'm doing a landscape lighting job today, finishing that up. Um, it's really actually a landscape lighting flip. Um, customer wasn't completely satisfied with the lights that I sold him. And so what are we doing? We're going back and we're flipping everything. And I'm only charging him the cost difference of the fixtures. That's, that's how I do business. And I care about my customer's experience enough that I'm willing to lose money now to make sure that it's right and I'm going to treat you as my customer just like you would want to treat others if you were doing business just how you would treat them I know that you would get on top of the roof if that's what you had to do um, to solve your customers problems so I'm, uh, I'm going to head out Maybe there will be another part of this video later today. This is about 15 minute video. Vlog day one. Um, oh, maybe I'm not going to head out yet. Also, I'm driving by my wife's work. She works out here in Parker Heights. So that's pretty cool. But um, what was it? It was, oh, 
I talked to a, a lawn care guy today, so I was um, doing lines and I heard the mowers wrap or wrapping up, and I was like, you know what? I'm trying to build 100 homes in 100 days, I got to build some relationships with guys. And um, we're, what we do is we do a referral program. So with that referral program, if you refer us a customer, then if it's a landscape lighting job and you refer the customer, then you get 10%. If you refer a Christmas light customer, you get 100 bucks off of your Christmas lights. So a lot of times, a lot of folks, if they're struggling with you know the minimum of 1250, I've had, out of the 26 customers we had last year, I had one customer that referred me three lines of business. So they got 300 bucks off. So they were down to 950 and then this year they're paying about $600 to hang their lights. But I'm not just gonna give a discount to give a discount, right? That's not how people can stay in business. Like we're making a living for ourselves out here. We're not not in the, I mean, charity business. Like that's probably take that out. <laughs> but anyways, I, I was, so I saw a lawn, uh, lawn mowing guy. Talked to talked to the lawn mowing guy, and he's he's over in River Oaks and Belton, taking care of it. And uh, I'll uh, put his name and business up here because I definitely want to refer him some business. Um, but we were just talking, and he's like, "Yeah, I got some customers that are that are looking for Christmas lights." And he was like, "I got a cus couple customers out in Salado that are looking." And he told me he was like, "You know, he's asking, is it going to be about you know." How much is you know the first year? And I was like, oh, we do packages. We don't really charge by the foot. Um, it's the full customer experience. And um, he's like, oh, so what? You know, after the first year, they pay like two or three hundred dollars. I'm like, no, sir, we don't do that. We we do about we do thirty percent off of the first year, and our minimum is twelve fifty. So you know, the cheapest customer, um, you know, rate that they're signed up for on the second year and be around 900, 950 bucks. And he's like, oh, you know, and then, and then of course I get into my sales mode. Like the, the passion of, that I have for Christmas comes out. Like I told you guys earlier, wreaths and garlands and premium bows and daytime decor. You're not just driving up to the house during the day and, oh, I spent, you know, 1200 bucks on Christmas lights and I'm only going to see them at night. No, like you're seeing these immaculate commercial style wreaths and garlands that just look stunning right i'm gonna put a house right here you guys can see that house this is a home in colleen that they got a lot of yard art but you can see that wreath in that picture and man that thing is sticking out so um so yeah the um that lawn care guy, he's like, yeah, no, we don't do Christmas lights. We're just, we stay busy year round. And I mean, to me, that's my perfect, like working with partner because again, lots of mowing guys out there. And that, that's, that's who just keeps kind of coming to mind. Okay. I, I'm, I have buddies who are lawn mowing guys that do this. I mean, Tracy Miller, my buddy in, in, uh, Cameron, like, and he does some homes in, in Temple and, of course, I keep telling him he's got to raise his price and he's working on it. And you raise your prices, Tracy. Um, but, and, and I've, I've, I've sent him business. I, I've sent him business because like, I know that I'm not everybody's cup of tea. Like my business isn't here to serve everybody. And I know that. And but what I am, to, am here to do is to provide value, whether you go with me or not, like that's great. So guess what? If we're too expensive for you, then my buddy Tracy will hit, hook you up. Okay. Um, so anyways, lawn care guy talking with him and we just had a good, good conversation and I'm very appreciative of him. His name's Rick. I can't remember Rick's last name right now. Um, and like I said, here's again, his business card right there. Um, he does everything. Ooh, two ninety nine at Walmart and Colleen. Or Harker Heights. That's what I'm talking about. Two ninety nine. All right. <laughs> Don't want to get into that. But um. So yeah, it looks like I could potentially have a referral partner program working for Christmas lights right then and there. And um, you know, for me, obviously, like I know that these referrals can 
be super helpful. And so anybody else that's in business, like build build that network, provide value to and give value to those who are who are going to help you out. Like this guy, he's going to get ten percent. He's I know Christmas lights only give a hundred bucks, but if he's going to be a a company partner, like I'm going to help this guy out a lot. I'm going to you know not only does it help him add another service to his portfolio, like. If he's a lawn care guy, and this guy, he does, he, they do a lot of things. They do tree trimming. It's on the card right here again, on the card. Tree trimming, most mason work. They even do landscape lighting, okay? Um, but now, when his customers are like, hey, do you do, you do Christmas lights? He'd be like, no, but I got Nolan, and deep in the heart, and he's, he's taking care of me. He's taking care of my guys, um, all my previous customers before. He does a phenomenal job. And he can be behind that. And that, he can then give more value to his customers because of that. And so, it, like, again, other referral partners and landscape lighting and pool builders and home builders and things like that that I'm also looking to build that network with. Um, so those of you who are out there in business, like, that's, that's a great way to build connections and get business whenever you quote unquote you're in tough times like hey we're with this referral network like the customers that I want are ones that are building pools they're building spec homes they're not going with the general contractor homes um, they're going with the specialized homes and those those guys I mean they're hard to connect with I, I haven't even really connected with them yet um, I'm working on it I'm working on it maybe you know, in these hundred days, I can report back and let you guys know how it's going. But, um, anyways, I'm excited about Rick and the opportunity that he's given me to, you know, start pushing my name out a little bit. And so, hundred homes in a hundred days. This might be the only part of the vlog today, since I'm driving. Um, drove to Colleen today to get some lighting shrink. But. Um, yeah, if, if anything else comes up, I'll put it in the video. Hope you guys have a great day if I don't talk to you till tomorrow. Again, day one of the 100 Homes and 100 Days Challenge. Talk to you later. Hey guys, so I'm listening to this book called Psycho Cybernetics. And one thing that I just heard that really, you know, stands out to me right now. A lot of times I struggle with, uh, you know, the fear of failure or feeling like I'm a failure, things like that. But he talked about kids and kids that are learning to walk. And if kids are learning to walk and they continually continually fall down, we don't call them a faller. We don't they're learning to walk. And so whenever we're doing new things in life and we continue to fall down, guess what? You're not a faller. You're just falling down. And you get right back up and you try again. Just like riding a bike. Anyways, thought that was interesting. Take care. Hey guys, uh, just wanted to drop by here on day one of that 100 houses in 100 days. Um, it's about 6.25 and I'm headed home for some dinner, PB&J time, and then back to work over hopefully finishing up that landscape lighting job tonight. <clears throat> Obviously, like I said this morning, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought it would, but um, had a second and a thought came up so I figured I'd just drop it in here uh, about books that I'm reading currently and so there's three books on the playlist right now um, today I've been listening to while I'm working I've been listening to um, oh psycho cybernetics psycho cybernetics sorry um, it's basically from the 1960s early 1960s and I am from a sports background, and so I love sports psychology. I, I like psychology in general. Um, but psycho cybernetics, basically talking about why we do what we do, and that always has interested me uh, because if you can find out why you do what you do, then you can change it. And so I'm working on that, and then also this book called Profit First. Um, for you business owners out there, pop it first. Um, I just heard about it in July, and it's changed my business. 
changed my business so much. Um, you know, people talk about, oh, business owners, you got to be making so much money, yada, yada, yada. Oh, you're charging this much for Christmas lights or this much for landscape lights. You must be doing great. Well, the problem is with me is that I am a spender and I'm also someone who is going to take care of other people before I take care of myself. And so how that plays out in running a business or how it's played out so far is that if there's money in the account and I need something for the business, then guess what? I'm going to buy it. And so with profit first, I went through the training first, um, from somebody who is a profit first. She's a savant of profit first. And she talked about the stall, the principles of profit first. And the first one is that you pay yourself first. And so I started in, um, cause I honestly, I'm not taking, I'm not taking an hourly rate right now. And I wasn't even taking a percentage for being a business owner. And so this year I haven't made any money and that's kind of crazy. But after profit first, I've at least started taking, I started off taking 1% of, um, revenue and I'm up to 8% in revenue right now. And then actually just talked to the lady the other day who did the meeting and, um, kind of gave me the encouragement to pay myself, you know, an hourly rate because I haven't even been doing that. Um, because I've convinced myself that that's not how business works. So profit first. And then I am upon recommendation from another professional. I have jumped back on atomic habits, um, by James clear and, my first big takeaway from the first time around was if you're trying to start a habit, don't let it happen two days in a row. If you miss and you're trying to start a habit and you miss a day, don't miss two, right? And how that's played out in my life so far is, um, I've never been a flosser. And so also when I was done teaching, like I wasn't, I didn't have like my morning routine down where I'd brush my teeth every day. I know that's amazing, but I started brushing my teeth and flossing every single day. And I did it for like 95 straight days without missing a day. And then, um, as some of you guys know, I've started doing the, uh, push up challenge, the 365 day push up challenge. And I missed one day and 96 days. I missed one day and I'm only one day. And so yesterday I just finished up day 48. And so yeah, Atomic Habits, it's a, it's a good start. I'm getting back into it. He's just talking about the British, um, British cycling team right now. So yeah, if you're interested in some books, there's three book recommendations. Number one, Psycho Cybernetics. Number two, Profit first and number three, Atomic Habits. Y'all take care. All right, guys. Good evening of day one. It's 9.50. I am headed home from the lighting job. Didn't quite get it finished. I almost projected that this morning whenever I got to the job site. Let's see, what do we do? There were four lights down below the deck that we switched out there were six lights five lights five or six lights on the deck um a couple of them had some issues but anyways didn't get that finished we got it i'm going to be back tomorrow morning about six o'clock get that done but i just wanted to review today after the last after that other the last video I had a coaching call this afternoon. Let's see, I, I think I had the coaching call before the last video, but I didn't talk about it. So I had a coaching call or a group mastermind uh, that I'm a part of, Landscape Lighting Secrets, Ryan Lee, a uh, guy that used to run a lighting landscape lighting business in Dallas, um, Majestic Outdoor Lighting. So if you're up in Dallas, take a look at them. Uh, pretty awesome. But... Um, so you got 
that. It was um, a couple guys were talking about Christmas lights at the beginning, talking about their minimums across the country. We got guys that are saying that their minimums are $5,000, $2,500 minimums. And I'm just like falling out of a chair because here in Temple, people, I, you know, I'm not doing a good enough job selling the selling the value. Um, but they also said most of their clients were like commercial clients. We had a guy that he's up in New York. He signed for 300000 or he's bidding on a $300,000 job for a city up there. So uh, something really cool about being part of those masterminds is that, I mean, you're around guys that are doing what you want to do. Like I'm probably not even going to do 300000 in revenue this year. And this guy's doing one job it's three hundred thousand dollars so that's really cool and that'd be really awesome to be able to do those things in the future as I grow my business um, then so I had the doctor's appointment after the doctor's appointment I came back to the job site I actually went home had a PB&J the solid choice right there always trusty dusty PB and J with the apple and peanut butter, crushed it. Um, then went back to the job site, and there was a recruiting webinar that was that I was that I jumped on tonight. Um, I got a service that I'm using, Blue Skies Recruiting Service. I'm going to use them to recruit uh, employees. I'm trying to employ, trying to find four employees. I have a pretty good beat on two of them. Um, so I'm going to have two teams of two coming out to help install Christmas lights for folks. And I plan on, you know, having them install and I'll do quality control and also go around door to door and maybe see you on your doorstep or you'll see me on the doorstep or maybe you'll see my sales partner Bailey on the doorstep. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thinking about, you know, what did I do today to move the needle? on 100 homes in 100 days. Um, so I connected with that lawn mowing guy earlier today. It seems like he'll give me some leads. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna follow up with him here. You know, not tomorrow, because I'll be back here at this landscape job, and then working with an electrician tomorrow to get a plug installed at an old landscape lighting job that I did earlier this week. And then we're headed to Dallas for the weekend. Uh, still be doing vlogs, so keep an update on what I'm doing to move the needle there. Uh, I got some, I'm pretty excited about, you know, what I got going on on Saturday with the cousins and everything, and also uh, the distributors that I use here in Texas, uh, Certified Lights. Shout out to you guys, Scott and Ashley. Um, so yeah, I'm headed home. It's about 9.54 now. I still have to do my push-ups. I'm probably gonna at least drink some water and then also edit yesterday's video since I didn't get it out yesterday. So now the videos are gonna be uh, two days, maybe probably two days behind. I don't know, maybe I'll release both of them at the same time, but I'll edit yesterday's video probably get through today's video that way maybe tomorrow that way I won't be so far behind just means it'll a little bit a little bit later night tonight um, but yeah hopefully uh, a lot of this is rambling but that's okay I mean it's my first day of vlogging so not trying to you know grab anybody's attention off of one video me, I, I think I get better with age. I'm like a fine wine. You might get bored of me at the beginning, but um, yeah, that's me. But the business, Deep in the Heart Outdoor Services, Christmas Light Central Texas, we are excited about Christmas. We're excited about 100 homes in 100 days. Very excited to be able to bring Christmas joy to those people here in Central Texas from Austin to Waco. I'm located in Temple, Texas serve in Temple Belt and Salado, Colleen, Harker Heights last year. Hopefully this year, I, I know I got a property out in Georgetown. 
based off my buddy's conversation this morning. So we're expanding. That's why I'm hiring. So I'm excited about hiring, getting some guys on the team. That way, whenever you call, I'm not avoiding your phone call because I'm busy somewhere else. When you call, we'll get to you. We'll get you taken care of. And we'll be on your merry way after that. Anyways, thanks for taking the time to listen today. Here's the clips of me doing some push-ups tonight. Maybe even editing some video. I don't know how I'm going to get that. But at least here's the push-ups. Y'all have a good night. We'll talk to you tomorrow.